And we are back here here at the War Report, Newark, New Jersey, man. I'm here with Champ and Bell, man. Say something to the people. Say something to the microphones, man. We've been having technical difficulties all night, man. It's a late yeah. night. A, a blessed day. Definitely. Check definitely. in with the War Report. Yeah, we definitely checked into the new day. Um, like he said, it's Champ and Flay on the mic, man. Even when we outside, we in the building, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that, Champ. Now nah, we out here, though. Um bell out here we um keeping things going absolutely man so man first and foremost man we back in the building man what y'all think about the building what you think about some of the new additions you know what i'm saying we got this fly. tnt joint right here this is pretty fly right here man we haven't done a podcast in here since like june you know what i'm saying so, mm -hmm. so we about to go minute. crazy yeah we about to go crazy these right. next couple weeks for the war report you guys are kicking it off here with me man so i shout out to y'all man how i like which I want to talk about first and foremost, man. It's a lot going on mm. as far as social justice issues. Mm. A lot we can speak about as far as black men. A lot of people, uh, a lot of stuff that people want to know about. So like, Bell, man, what you been up to? You know what I'm saying? Speak to the people. You know what I mean? If somebody don't know you listening out there, they might hear this podcast. Like, who who are you? Yeah. Um. My name is Bell. Um. I'm living in Newark currently. Um. Artist. Thinker. Um, just a full time liver, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to push the envelope, so to speak. Um, but yeah. like, think for it more, more than anything. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Champ LaFair, man, check in, man. Somebody out there listening, they don't know who Champ LaFair is, man. What they need to know, man. Speak crazy into the microphone, man. Um,. I mean, I'm pretty much a, a open book, like on my social media outlets. You know, like um, I've been through a lot of walks, a lot of different walks of life. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot to attest to. I got a lot to testify against. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Any subject or any field that, or any room, I feel like I could sit in. So, you know, just keep the topics rolling. I have my state my opinion on things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So both of y'all have been out here for COVID nineteen, living here in New Jersey, man. Obviously, I'm from New Jersey. What's it been like? Like, what's the streets been like? Bell, you said you haven't been in New York City in a minute. Like, nah, what's yeah. the what's the streets like right now in Newark, New Jersey, man? Because right now it's looking real like subtle, kind of real like people are just mm -hmm. kind of taking it easy, taking it slow. But yeah. Bell, you were mentioning that like the money going to dry up though. Like, what you what you mean by that earlier? Like the money going to dry up? It's looking like. Well, um, it doesn't seem like things are in order as far as economics goes. In what um, way? With the virus, how yeah. it slowed down a lot. Um, they're giving these like stimulus packages out, but that's not that's not enough. That's like mainly yeah. for the people. That's not gonna help the businesses or yeah. the government more more than anything. Mm -hmm. Like it says something like the 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 like the richest companies like Apple, Amazon, mm -hmm. what else like Google and all that they mm -hmm. like tripled their net worth and like Tesla, mm -hmm. they tripled their net worth over Corona where like the middle class kind of got crushed. So like, champ man, like what you think about that man? Like mm -hmm. what's going on out here in these streets, man? Economic wise, economics. What do you see out here? <sighs> economic wise, it's just I mean. People got dealt hands. I mean, you know, like, everybody not liking the hand they got dealt. Honestly, like, truthfully, because it's like, we could reach out to these people and ask them for help, and that's what they should be doing, but they not thinking about us. They just thinking about, like, just getting richer on the on the Yeah. Direction. But how you think they actually did that? Well, as far as the stimulus package, my opinion on the stimulus and everything that's Well, I'm talking on. about those, uh, those companies. How you think they... Tripled they worth I don't know I think they were <laughs> Like in a short time Like how did that happen Like Oh shit I think They were able to capitalize on Like the, Just the collapse Like the The, the, side, the societal collapse Like mm -hmm. Amazon You gotta think about it Like they set up, I can see Amazon They're, they're set up their company As like a shipping company So right. they can just ship you anything Walmart What well, They yeah, just have Walmart. everything That you mm -hmm. need 
Mm-hmm. Uh, so they tripled their worth. Mm-hmm. Um, what? Who else? Apple. I'm not sure how the hell Apple right. tripled their worth. I don't know what's going on with that. Recently, Apple products is number one. Apple product is king. You know what I'm saying? Laptops, so, phones, everything. So people not gonna stop buying, and it don't matter if it's a pandemic or not. <laughs> Just like you, you seen Sandy, people were still out, you know, out here moving around. But that's why. Nah, for real though, bro. So man, so I right, so yesterday, man. Obviously, we seen the whole killing of like. Uh, Jacob, not even killing. He, nah, he was, was paralyzed. It was a it was a yeah. police shooting. Jacob Blake, man. Uh, what what's your opinion on and just overall reaction to that? Like, just speak on that because a lot of stuff went on yesterday with the players protesting and everything like that. Um, but they said they're going to resume the playoffs, which is weird to me. They they said that today. Like the players voted to resume the playoffs. They like did. right yeah, now, I've it's postponed. But overall, they said they're gonna bring back the NBA to finish out the season in the bubble. Mm. So what? I definitely gotta hear y'all opinions on that because that's like real re- relevant right now. Right. Um. Damn. You you mentioned something before that. Um. About the shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, about the so, shooting. Yeah. 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 Let's talk about that first. Yeah. Like sheesh. I don't know. We gotta get the whole story. Yeah. Cause like now they saying he had a knife in the car. But I don't know the story. I know they say I I heard some some like he had a knife in the car. Yeah, I mean I know he got children in the car. Yeah, yeah. But what I saw in the video, he was just walking. Listen, yeah, yeah. I mean, he started to get shot. Yeah, like, honestly, nonetheless, that many times. The knife yeah. shit. It's like, come on, man. Like it's a knife. Like it's it's handheld. It's not used for combat at all times. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a knife can be used for so many different things. Like. So, like, to put that on somebody as a sort of defense is weak. Like, a knife? Okay. So, yeah, he might have had the knife. He had the children in the car. Honestly, the whole system is corrupt, and these cops have to stop shooting black people. Like, That's point blank fact. period. Point blank period. Yeah. Point blank period, you have to stop shooting black people. And this is why you got to stop shooting black people, because you're able to not shoot white people. Like, if it was, like, an instance where... These cops would be able to control, like, more so, let's say, like, if they, like, shot everybody. Like, if it was black people, white people, Chinese people, yeah, or was, stuff. Like, then we would be like, okay, charge it to the game. Like, I mean, it is what it is. But if only one race is getting shot, like, come on, man. Like, we know what it is. Like, y'all scared of us. And it, it needs to change, man. And it's not up to us to figure this shit out. And I think that's what a lot of people got this shit misconstrued with. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, you could judge how the NBA players did it, but, I mean, we've never been in this situation before at all. So, like, you can't really judge. You got to judge them to a fault. Like, you got to look at it with a grain of salt because nobody has ever been through this situation before. A pandemic and all of this going on at the same time. Like, you know, these are young people. Like, Martin Luther King ain't C40. He wasn't a grown-ass man when he decided to step on that soapbox. Like... You you learn as you go on, but I mean that's my personal opinion. Yeah, man. So like, out there in Wisconsin, everybody's been talking about there was like a shooter, a white guy. Yeah. He uh, killed. I seen the video. Have you guys seen the video? I didn't see the. I didn't I see the video. Of the video him was shooting. crazy, bro. The video's crazy. So like, this dude right here, I got him up on my screen. Teen in Wisconsin shootings, charged with six criminal counts. Suspect idolized the police. Biden Trump sees unrest as political benefit. Blah 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 That's blase, what he blase. Said. Yes, what Biden says, whatever. But like, we're getting to Biden later. We're getting to Joe Biden and Kamala Harris a little later. But like, yeah. So I guess they did charge the kid. But like, um, did you? The video is crazy. So the video is what like, oh, okay. he's like, he like the video starts with him running with the rifle. I'm not sure if he had already popped mm. somebody and he's running, mm. and like these they're running after him. They're like like jump him, like or like they say jump him. I, not jump him, but like I'm not sure he if he had already shot the first person. So they were right, trying they were right. trying to like rescue the other people. Mm-hmm. So they got him like to the ground, like rescued him down, like maybe like one or two people. And he just got out. He just got off with that big rifle on the ground and just mm-hmm. started spraying niggas, hitting niggas in the head. Bow, mm-hmm. close range, just like Damn. you know what I'm saying. And just to get up off him type right. shit on some self def. 
self defense shit like mm-hmm. but really combat shit. Right. You know it's what I'm saying? Like train just shit. just on some nigga ready for combat shit. Right. But right. the way it like the way they swung on him kinda, it was kinda like he could have had a right to say it was self defense. Yeah. <clears throat> but nonetheless, he wasn't killed by police with a fucking assault rifle in the middle of a fucking riot. This is what I'm saying. So, so that's right. what that's the main point. Like for real, for real. It's like you see so many videos of like white people just wilding the fuck out on cops. Like and you on some shit like, yo, if I even reach in my pocket, I could get clapped. Like if I even like make any certain movement, if I talk back, like or anything, like it's like their patience and their trigger is so thin with us, like it's ridiculous because you see you you say this guy walks up with a Call of Duty like weapon, like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. And the cops in the is of just a riot. in the yeah. middle of a riot. It's like shut down. And the cops is just like so cordial, like but like they're just so scared of our skin, like it's ridiculous, man. I don't know. Yeah, man, absolutely, man. So like, let's talk about man, like a little bit of politics, man. Bell, do you do you kind of dwell in politics? Do you kind of nah, just stay out of that all. arena, man. Yeah, I don't. Not at all. I don't do that. Nah, why? Why don't you dwell in the politics? <laughs> long story. What's the long story, man? You trying to share long that story. with the war reporter? Nah, 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 nah. Long, story long story short. Story. But um, yeah, man, this shit, this shit crazy right now. And uh, there's also a hurricane going on in like Texas, Louisiana right now. 2020 has been a crazy mm. fucking year. Let's talk about That's 2020. Let's talk about 2020, man. So it's 2020 starts off. Kobe dies in like January. Rough. Rough, man. Rough. After the death of Nipsey, like right before that. Yeah, when did Nipsey die though? I want. I don't. I want to say within the coming months. Like I feel like Nipsey might. Yeah, it uh, felt. It felt like yeah. it was like, damn, they had just lost somebody. Right. Kind of crazy in L.A. Yeah. Like, that and Kobe. Had- Kobe was one of those people like you just never expected like to die. Like I, I know it's crazy as it sounds. Like everybody's gonna die. Like. Only two things prominent on this earth is, yeah, is death and taxes. Back. But Word. like when you think about people like just passing on, you think about you being oh Kobe's always gonna be here. Like I could always see mm-hmm. Kobe doing something. So to hear like he passed, it was like, nah, man. Like it's crazy. It's like I don't know. It's like it's just another reminder like this life is short. Like for real. Yeah, for real, yeah. man. For real, bro. What you got to say about that, man? Real talk, man. About 20, what? 20, nah, 20. just 2020, man, and how it started off, man, with the... It's crazy. Yeah. For me crazy. personally, it was like a lot happening. Yeah. And then um, that day happened. I yeah. was like, damn. And that shit happened. I feel like, I know a lot of people, we may edit this out, but like... Kobe was kind of like his death and how the tragedy was kind of like the mark of the beast a little bit on some like. You think it was like that? Like some sacrifice nah. shit. Like I don't know some new world order sacrifice shit, but everybody says I'm crazy, man. Like, I wouldn't yeah, go that think, far. Yeah, I, don't yeah. Think that, I, w- I wouldn't go that far. But I mean, uh, of course, you're entitled to your opinion and the way the internet works. I wouldn't. I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm not quick to like call people like. Out on their opinions and shit, like call people crazy or whatever, because it's just so much information that you know. What I'm saying, like, it's not that you not studied, like, it's not that you didn't study to show that you wanted to know more about the subject. You might just have other information that I didn't. But yeah, but did you guys? I right, but did you guys peep that? Uh, it was like that Kobe cartoon commercial, right? Yeah, where I he died that. in a helicopter, right? Right. No. Nah. You ain't see that? No. Was it The Simpsons? Nah, no, nah, it was a different cartoon. Yeah, it was like some. Type I think of I cartoon. did, see, and, but it was previous. It was prior to the fact, like it was like prior to the fact that mm-hmm. yeah, and then yeah. He, it almost like prophesized his his death and shit in the helicopter. It was really fucking weird, bro. Yeah. So yeah, so then and then, like, have you guys ever heard of like? Like Infowars or nah, not really. Oh, that nigga Alex Jones. That nigga Alex Jones, bro. You heard, I've heard, I've heard, of, <laughs> I've heard of Alex Jones, but I never heard of the Infowars though. Like yeah. the, that's his yeah, platform. That's he be, yeah, he be okay. just saying that, like yo, they, like. But they, then they shut him down. Or they shut him off. They took him off. They had they banned him from YouTube, bro. Uh, <laughs> you gotta go straight to the source now to, to listen. Hey, to yo, Alex you Jones. gotta be a cool motherfucker to get banned from YouTube. I'm not yeah. gonna lie, like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, that shit's funny, bro. But he been he been like preaching for years. They're like, oh, like they wanted this shit completely different by twenty thirty. Like, mm. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Human mm-hmm. tracking, you know what I'm saying? Like, who could come outside, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, they want to shut this shit the fuck down. <laughs> Especially America, so like... So, is it more so he's speaking the truth or just his theories right. is out of whack? I feel like Alex I, Jones... My, this is my take on Alex yeah. Jones, right? He understands, like, the New World Order shit. Like, he he's very convincing <laughs> of, like, the New World Order, like, shit. Like, we could turn the nigga on after this, bro. But, like, <laughs> very convincing with the New World Order shit, but, like... He's white and he doesn't get like the African American plight, so he'd be wrong about a lot of like he doesn't see like also my like, almost like white supremacist racist shit too though. Like so like he's a, like he's a weird spin. He's like, so he's, he's like entertaining though too. It's so like he's so intelligent that he likes common sense. No. Nah, yeah. have you watched him, Bell? Yeah, what, I used to you, fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. Speak on Alex Jones, Bell. What's your opinion um, on Alex Jones? Look, first time I seen him, he was uh. He had that video about the Bohemian Grove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you heard about the Bohemian the Grove? One. I've heard the title before. I, I mean, it's yeah. like some ritual know, man. shit, man. It's a, it's <laughs> yeah. such a weird ritual it's some shit. Other they shit. Do, bro. That's a lot, no, man. Yeah, it's a weird shit going on out here in this world, bro. Like we gotta talk about this shit because yeah, it's a big world, shit, though. That's the thing, yeah, though. Like That's what we world. always gotta comprehend. Like our world ain't that small. What you mean? Like it's a lot of wild shit that can happen in this space. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you the, could do just, anything. Just like the polar planet. Right. Any everything, something's happening everywhere. Niggas is doing something, right? Yeah, everywhere. Regardless. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wild place, <laughs> nigga. It's a wild place. Nah, bro. Yeah. Nah, bro. So like, because you understand. Look what that um, cameras is the only reason we can actually see it now. We just think about that. If what it wasn't for cameras, we really wouldn't even see it. It would just happen. Oh, that's a fact. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this shit fact. never stopped. Like, the killings and the robins and mm-hmm. everything. Like, just yeah. social media just made the world a little smaller. Like, mm-hmm. that's exactly what it was. Because, like, cops been... Like, if you look back in history and everybody's, like, basically their argument and their plight against, like, racial injustice, it's been the same for all of these years. Like... It hasn't changed because the same shit has been happening. Like, right. but now social media is just showing it at a full clip. Like, you can see this shit day by day by day by day. Like, we still grieving over Breonna Taylor, and then you hear this happens, and yeah. then you hear another person get shot. Right. So, like, it's going to keep happening. Like, because right. we're just so close together. Like, the social media is bringing so close. Yeah, how do you guys feel about like? But I understand what you're saying though. But the officer shit now just kind of seems like targeted at this point. Like it's almost like a game to, like the, the white supremacy inside the the cops right now. Like what you mean by that? Like though? they're shooting people with like pretty much immunity at this point. Like yeah, like, of they pretty, course. They but they've been, doing that, they've, right. been doing, yeah. it, they've been doing they've been that though. They've been doing it. They've been doing it, bro. It's always been immunity, and that's why I said like it's like it's two different rules for people, and it's like. You really slapping us in the face when y'all try to make it seem like y'all don't know what the fuck y'all doing. Like, like y'all can really control yourself not to kill white people, but black people, it's like, yo, I fear for my life. Like, (laughs) Like it don't click. It don't click. Yeah, we like these white have the time. Like Like, Dylan Roof Mm. sat in the Bible study in this church in rural South Carolina and. After the proceedings, he killed nine people, and he was taken in. You know what I'm saying? Peacefully. Yeah. Like I heard, like they even got the little motherfucker McDonald's. Like nah, Burger King, man. Burger King, whatever. Yeah. He had a fucking wish. Like he had like some type of motherfucking. Like they show empathy towards this kid. Like what? Mm. It's not the same. Like and we pay the same amount of money. Like it'd be different if white people were paying a different amount of money than us. Like, but we're all. In this same thing together Like we don't get a break on shit Like we actually got it harder So why the fuck would you want Why would you be harder on us Like Yeah man Like shit crazy right now bro Shit crazy But like Just get back into the To the to the weird The Kobe shit though Like I don't know <laughs> That was some weird Mark of the beast shit Cause like right after that It was some COVID-19 shutdown shit You know what I'm saying Like Cause like uh, 2020 went from Kobe, that would have happened. You don't then, think that would have happened regardless? Yeah, it's Kobe, not. I, yeah. I, you can't. You can't really correlate Kobe, those things to me. I'm like COVID. 
COVID. Because that was China. How do you feel about COVID, bro? COVID, COVID, all right, just like on my view of COVID, COVID is like some like takeover shit, really. As like, far as what? Taking over what? Like control of society. Like you see how oh, everybody yeah. got to wear a mask yeah. now. Right, like right. that's like the new norm and shit. Mm-hmm. Like social engineering. Yeah. Definitely. My honest. 100% honest, like 100% social engineering. I mean, but more than anything, I, I look at it as it's like a just a observation. Like, but it is just what you said it is. Yeah. So, because there's no one really controlling the people, but <laughs> you see what happens. Yeah. Like, nah, because like, I right, pretty much, man, niggas be saying that Fauci and Bill Gates is behind the whole COVID shit, bro. Yeah, like, but did you see? What <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just see. I wouldn't that. say. I wouldn't say that they're behind yeah, it. Jail, I wouldn't say bro. that they're behind it. Like my honest opinion about COVID, like. I got conspiracies about it, and I'll tell you my conspiracy about it, and then I'll tell you what I believe it to be. Like, it was a weapon from, like, the uh, the real, I guess what you call it, the real East Coast. We the real West Coast. I'm talking about, like, from, like, Asian countries. Like, I feel like they had enough of our shit. Like, they, we've been wilding, and they might have set something over to us. And honestly, like, it was meant to kill millions of people, but our just immune system and the way, like, we're just so advanced in medicine, we were able to combat it. That's my true, honest opinion on it. I'm not saying that it don't exist. I'm not saying anything like that, but I'm just saying, like, uh, that's just my honest opinion on it. That's all. So who you think weaponized it? Like, attacked it? Like, sent it to I who? I think it's, like, man, like, I think it's... Bill Gates, Fauci in China, man, and the globalists that want to take America down, bro. They but what you, all right, they so look, see, they want to, they want it to be like escape from New York, like escape from Los Angeles. But you gotta, be, years, all right, but bro. listen though, you Terminator gotta Terminator Two, like that's what you gotta. That's when what's you, going on here, fellas? <laughs> when Terminator you say, Two. Look, when you say <laughs> shit like that though, when you say shit like that though, you gotta create intent, like almost on some cop shit, like almost on some like, yeah. like why did this person do that? Like Bill Gates is. A dozen times rich, like yeah. he could like solve the world, the world hunger problem like tomorrow. Yeah. So why the fuck would he want to? You got to create like, intent. Like... So that's why I feel like China has intent. I'm not saying that they did it or yeah. whatever. I just feel like they had enough of our shit. We've been wilding. Oh yeah, take like they this. definitely, they definitely was yeah. like, take that, take that. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, how I felt. Like shit. I felt like this was an act of war. This was yeah, a okay. silent act of war, yeah. yeah, yeah like on some like, yo, we trying to kill millions of y'all. Like, you think about who got hit the hardest. New York, like the East Coast and shit yeah. like that. Like, that's a direct line to us. Like, but you know. Yeah, man. How you guys do you guys feel like Trump is gonna get reelected? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be something to see. Honestly, bro. <laughs> I'ma say it like this. I'ma say it like this, and I hope I don't sound insensitive to some people. Like, I don't feel like um in the bracket or I'm important enough for a presidential election to affect me. Are you going to vote? <sighs> you don't, I might, I might. If my that. grandmother asks me, like if my grandmother be like, yo, have you voted? And I, I'm going to ask my grandmother, if she want me to vote, then I'll vote. Like other than that, like I'm probably not because like I said, like yeah. it's just the best. I don't feel like a presidential election affects us like i feel like it's it trickled down so much until it gets to us that mm-hmm. we never like the it. shit that they control don't even got nothing to do with us like yeah that's interesting man how do you feel about that bill just like that just like that i think um like you said about bill gates but on a higher level um cats getting together trying to make money i think it's all about that just trying to have money yeah for real for real bro there's a lot of shit going on man how do you guys feel the year is going to close out, man? What do you guys looking forward to the rest of the year? Um, I think America, like, like us together. We'll recover, like, yeah, yeah, America, of yeah, course. America will ever go back to normal? Like we go nah, we won't ever story. go back to the different. normal. We won't never go back to normal. Will we are? Yeah, that's a great question. No. Will we ever go back to normal? No. Eventually. You Eventually. think so? Okay. Like a minute. It's going to take a minute. I don't I think shit going to get lit. Yeah, I think shit gonna get lit too. I think shit won't go back to normal, but I think we'll recover, if that makes sense. Like, like everybody will like be like touched by this moment. Like everybody, like 
Like, nobody's going to live the same after this moment. Like, if you think you're going to live the same before this moment, like, how you are after, like, I don't think you are. But as far as recover, like, business going to be opening back up. Like, the depression and recession, all of that shit is going to be over. Unemployment. Everybody's going to get jobs back. I think that is going to go back to normal. But, like, as far as, like, I'm mental, I think that shit is going to be fucked forever. Yeah, what do you think, bro? We going back to normal? Um, give me a, a timeline, dog. Like, what's what's I seen some. Oh, I can't give you no timeline. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, but, um, yeah, you're right. You're right about the mental though. That that's gonna be different because um, with kids going to school, it's a whole different social experience. Right. So, um, on the younger children, it's like how how's that gonna play out for them? Right. And how long will that actually be a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about virtual schools. Like, what's, yeah, what's that, going that, on with that? Like, that, that, I'm just glad. Kids go back to Yo, school? you know what? I'm so you happy. Kids go back to school. I, and I don't mean to sound sensitive again, like, but like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if, if Corona is this deadly, that's what I'm saying. That's why I stopped fucking with the Corona because the story is like wishy washy. Like, if it's this crazy, <laughs> if this shit's that crazy, what are y'all doing? Like, yo, kids are gonna get it. Kids are gonna bring it to the house. Game over. If it's that deadly, why bring them back to the school? Like I seen kids running around. Some kids have a mask, some not, but they are jumping on each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying that's what they do. Yeah. So, but that's what I'm saying. Really like I think like that, you can't really deny kids that experience though. Like you really around. can though. You can, yeah, yeah you can, and I think school. they are. Virtual yeah, school. that's how you. Do I think like maybe virtual recess school. might be over with, like all of that shit. Like as far as like people like just coming in contact with people too much, like that's what I meant. Like the shit that we did, like they probably are never allow that shit again. Like yeah. if you think about like people, but that like, stuff been dead though. Yeah. And, um, like think about people making insensitive jokes about females and stuff like that in the past. Like you, the people that said that can never say that now. Yeah, right, right. you know what exactly. I'm saying. Like that's how I'm saying. Like I think like people will look at stuff like yo, y'all was wilding, like yeah, wrestling, <laughs> like yeah. I don't know, like stuff like that. Like yeah, man, shit crazy. Uh, that's that's crazy, man. Like I I just think this this whole thing is crazy, man. I think kids should go back to school, mm-hmm. man. Like, yeah, I, yeah. I saw, virtual I saw, school is different. Yo, I saw, yeah, I don't know how the hell they're going to be able to learn But it's going to be, like, in the beginning, gum, a, I think it is going to be bro. I think it's going to be, but, but do you um, want to chew? Huh? Do you want to chew in, in, in record? Yeah, bro, don't worry about <laughs> it, man, this ain't the breakfast club. <laughs> Angelie B, yeah, you yeah. not on your ass. Yeah. Ah, but, um, yeah, bro, like. Virtual oh, school. Oh yeah, but nah, I was saying about the virtual school. Dumb. Nah, ain't no way they, they're yo, gonna. Ain't no way look, they're look, gonna. Look, look, look. They are though, cause it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be right on the Xbox. Look, nah, it's gonna build a relationship right with the family. Duty. That's the thing. It, that's gonna be your child. Like that's directly your child. Like you gonna let that shit happen? Like I said, it's gonna build a stronger bond. Yeah. And that shit is gonna be dope eventually. Eventually, that shit's gonna make. Like Trump said, he wanted like, something, America's and I'm gonna tell you why. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you why he wanted something because. If you look at the dynamics of education, like those schools are really raising your children. You know what I'm saying? Well, a like, large part of the day, and not even the whole day. It's the right, right, the whole day. It's the entire it's day, even, pretty much. All right, so look, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. It's the daytime. No, no, let me ask you something. Dang, what, what, dumb, what time did you have to be in school? Like seven forty-five, eight like a.m. Eight a.m. Like eight a.m. Right? Yeah. So, what time did you wake up? <laughs> like 6.30 6.30 So <laughs> Okay <laughs> You want me to go on Or you want me to Like like Homework. You want me to go on Alright so I'm gonna go on Alright so you woke up at 6.30 You had to be to school at 8 So your Get parents at 4.35 Your parents interaction with you Just right there Is an hour and a half yeah. Maybe because they got their own shit going on as well. Like yeah. they got to get ready to go to work as well. Like yeah. it depends on what type or how far your school was or whatever. So like, I'll give you an hour. Come home. What four o'clock? Yeah. If that, sometimes it could be like five. Four thirty, six. five. Mm-hmm. Five o'clock. All right. Let's say five o'clock. Your parents get off. What time? Five o'clock. Mm-hmm. It's like a day. Yeah. Care. So what you 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 basically seeing your parents at seven o'clock, right? Something like that. All right. So not even really. 
Maybe. No, <laughs> right? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. My Go parents ahead. just come around like seven. I I, I used to beat them to the crib. All right, cool. So, so from the one hour in the morning, and now you got seven o'clock, right? So from seven to twelve a.m., how many hours are you spending with your parents? Realistically, include mm. dinner, include right. your time texting on the phone, right. the game, the TV, right. all that. <laughs> the, yeah. Now, how many times are you spending It'd with your like parents? 30, like thirty minutes. Thirty right? minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So in uh, twenty-four hours in a day, you got an hour and a half that you're spending with your parents. Mm-hmm. And that's their time to teach you how to live in life on <laughs> earth. <laughs> but that's a that's not realistic, right? Yeah, nah. yeah. So the school is teaching you more than your parents. Yeah, yeah. Your parents right. are just more so disciplinarians to me. Oh, this and, is perfect, and yo, man. that that whole thing I, I say is part of the whole program. Of that, course, that teaches people to just follow the government. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause Stay in like, line. Not, not, right. Yeah, just follow yeah. Follow the way through. Let's keep follow going. the agenda. <laughs> like, keep, going. keep the box. You know yeah, what I'm you saying? Know. Prison the pipeline. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I may have picked up a call. It's all good, bro. We recording right now, bro. Just let me know if you uh, if you stuck or not. Just text me. Yeah, we in this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna be here for a minute though. I'm gonna be here for. A, I'm gonna be. Tell here him for to call us when he get off. Tell yeah. him to call us when he get off. As soon as you get off, I think he said he's stuck. All right. I don't know if I'm stuck. Hopefully, I'm not, man. But it's, I don't know, niggas. They be on some AWOL shit sometimes. I don't know. Damn. All right, bro. Just let me know, bro. I'm in town for a minute. All right. All right. What you say? All right. Yeah. So, where where we though? All right, so how y'all niggas feel about the NFL season coming back? You think NFL's going to have fans or? I think the NFL. How the, the NFL going to do this thing? The NFL the, moving like. The NBA did the bubble, right? You know what I'm saying? Oh what the God. hell is the NFL's plan this year? I think they going to be a full team? It's going, they plan to have a season. Wait, with full team though? Like The NFL like is moving players. like nothing has happened. <laughs> like the NFL is moving like there's no COVID. There's no racial injustice. It's just business as usual with the NFL. Like that's their whole demeanor, and that's how like how like they're like like that's how they carry and shit to me because I haven't seen anything. Like I haven't seen any like perimeters like to like COVID and like uh, plans on social distancing and no shit like that. Like I just see like yo, we starting in two weeks. Mm-hmm. Like y'all can correct me if I'm wrong too. Yeah, right? yeah, something like that, man. Like it's like, but I think. Week one in some spots, it's gonna be no fans, just like crowd noise, like like virtual crowd noise mm. instead of fans. That's in the, tough. In the NFL, so. I think that shit matters more in football than it does basketball, though. What like home yeah. field advantage and shit like that? Of course, no question. Super silent. That's a lot of. Space. Of course, like <laughs> what in football? What you mean on football? Because football solely depends on a play. Like, mm-hmm. basketball is just constant momentum. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. it could keep switching and switching. But, like, if you're on offense, that gives the opportunity for the home team to build up that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. or if you're away, you know, and you're on home team, it gives the opportunity to. It's a difference. That's what I'll say. Like, it, it creates a difference. In my so, opinion. So, in my mind, case by case, though. Because, like, some cats are so nice on defense. No question. That home field advantage doesn't, right. yeah, yeah. doesn't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing. Like nah, it don't mean nothing. Nah, man. Yeah. For real, it's gonna be interesting to see the NFL like, if they do decide. Because baseball, I feel like without the fans is trash right now. Baseball is trash. How? How? Like what? What's wrong? It's- Nobody watches baseball right now. I feel like without the fans being there, like baseball was a nice sport. You just because it's a long <laughs> season anyway. It's 162 games, so I think they changed I like, it. I think I it's like, like yeah, 80 now. I think it's like 80 right now, but it, there's no fans in the stand. I just feel like it. it it's just not the same, bro. I don't <laughs> like. I just hope things go back to to the same, bro. And that brings me up to damn the Trump and Biden fucking election because I feel like if Biden gets elected. We ain't never going back to normal. It's going to get worse. With Biden? With Biden. <laughs> so you're voting for Trump? I'm not. I'm, I'm <laughs> sitting this one out, man. He's sitting this one out, so. I'm going to sit this one out, man. Like, real talk, man. It's not looking good. <laughs> I'm going to let y'all decide, man. The fate of the country is up to y'all. Man. Real talk, bro. Because, like, Biden and Kamala, 
I'm disgusted, man. I'm mm-hmm. disgusted in them in that pairing. And and it's see, not good. And see, this is why, like, I don't take this shit so serious enough because I feel like, bro, them niggas is not doing anything to affect what I got going on. Bro, they don't even do anything for black <laughs> people. Like, this shit crazy. Let me bro. ask you something. What has <laughs> Trump done? Like, and I'm not defending this dude at all, and I'll go through all presidents. What has Trump do to negatively or positively affect your life? I think the stimulus positively affected your life. He opened up that purse for you. (laughs) (laughs) Not going to lie, you know. uh, It was a pretty cool. But there's a global pandemic, though. Like, imagine that. And then on top of that, he gave you one. So it's kind of like you giving like fucking like you giving you giving the you giving uh, the fisherman a meal instead of teaching him how to fish. Honestly, because you're not providing jobs, you're just giving them a check. Yeah, twelve hundred dollars is what? Maybe right, a man. month of the expenses for the bear. You know what I mean, like most yeah. people. Yeah, I'm talking about the extra six hundred he signed in the unemployment too, because niggas eating off that too. I'm not sure how it was in Jersey for y'all. But in Georgia, man, shit was pretty laid out. Sweet, yeah, man. yeah, Organized. yeah, yeah. That was lit. Like the six hundred. That was lit. That was lit, bro. So <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. So what's the? Well, now we gotta get it though, cause that shit dried up. All right. So was how? With, though, so so how does he? How has he negatively affected your life? Negatively, he allowed China to bring that virus over here where he should have been on point and shut down all flights from China and Europe mm-hmm. earlier and shut that shit down. All right, but what could can you say that's all him though? That is his fault as president of the United States. He should have shut it down a little earlier. That because he because he knows that he's under attack. Like you know what I'm saying, he getting reports and all this shit. You know what I'm saying, spy reports. Mm. So like, it's his job to be on it. You know what I'm saying. Mm. Like you know he got enemies out there that want to take America down. So I feel like he wasn't really on point with that. Like come on, bro, you're supposed to. Block all flights ASAP. You're supposed to have as soon as that shit starting to spread in China all crazy. Somebody should he should have a report on his desk. Like man, get rid of this virus right now, bro. Well, Trump wasn't really supposed to be president, and this is another one of my personal opinions that I feel like people agree with. I mean, just because I spread this opinion so much, uh, Trump was a businessman, and at the end of the day, like publicity, the media, all of these things like contribute to his income. Like he has so many commercial properties, just people seeing his face just means money. Like people want to see him booking appearances and all of that. And I felt like this was another ploy to create another stream of income, another like, I mean, get some more money. And then he got to the point where they was like, yo, on some real shit you might could win and he was like yo dead ass like hmm. I fuck it like let's go for it like but I don't think his intentions were to ever win but I think people just wasn't rocking with Hillary so much that they'd rather the president be a businessman and run America like a corporation and that's exactly what they got they got a, a, a racist boss like that Really don't give a fuck about people's feelings or emotions. He just here to get the money and keep shit rolling. Like, yeah. if you think about pl- uh, Trump's plans, like, and the shit that he said verbally, like, I don't know if he's kept his word or not because he looked like a liar. But mm-hmm. he wants some shit like, yo, I'm keeping the jobs in America. I'm shutting shit down. This, that, and the fourth. Ah, ah. Like, he keeps saying more business shit. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So. I haven't I really know. checked out the RNC, DNC. I think that was kind of weak as fuck this year. Um, I'm not sure if y'all like ever really paid attention to them shit. We only paid so attention like, because of Obama. Like, and I keep yeah. it real because he was black. And that's the only reason I people like elected him. the last election was popping, though. The Hillary Trump, that was historic, bro. Every, <laughs> yeah. every election is, histor- is historic. Because shit could go either right or left, bro. Like, somebody's song. being the president of the United States. Somebody got to run the fucking country. <laughs> this is... Pretty big stakes, if if you ask me. You feel me? Like this one, I feel like niggas ain't taking this one very serious right now. Like just the whole country so giving it up. Ah, huh? because it who up. gives a fuck about a president at this point? Like who really can really make shit better? Like neither one of these two candidates. Yeah, facts. So right. we gotta worry about twenty twenty four too, bro. Who would you like to see run for president in the future? I'm not really a fan of that. 
Like I don't want to see <laughs> like, like, like president where the world change. President being a president is not where the world changes. Honestly, these social media influences and these athletes are changing the world more than motherfucking presidents and politicians and stuff. Like I can remember reading the report that LeBron going to Cleveland like changed like the dynamics of employment and staked it like like he changed the economy in mm-hmm. Cleveland just by going there. Right. Yeah, facts. Like he did. He created like so many jobs like, you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, facts. I that's what a president is supposed to do, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. if a person can do that, like, why well, I'm looking for a president? Like, we need to have more faith in people that look like us. Like, mm-hmm. I don't think that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't like think that. a president gonna change the world, man. Like, it's mm-hmm. too high up. Like, that's for the that's for the other people. That's for the Bill Gates and like y'all said, like those dumb people. Like, mm-hmm. man, that's very interesting, bro. Because LeBron did fucking turn Ron Cleveland up, bro. When he left, that shit was very sad, bro. <laughs> That's amazing though, but yeah, you. I mean, that's just that's just like one in a million though type shit though. As far as who, like LeBron, like LeBron yeah, nobody else yeah. has really done that. No, 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 no. I wouldn't say nobody else has done that. I mean, to that effect, nah. Like in the long time, but like superstars come all the time. Like you don't think like Donovan Mitchell selling out Utah Jazz arenas, like yeah, yeah, facts. So it's like like. They do pay us the big bucks because we bring the big bucks in. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I guess that's this is why people are like, you know, boycotting and taking like an initiative to stop doing what like they feel like they can control. Okay, right, let's switch it up a little bit. This question just came to me, right? Let's talk about like black on black crime, right? And uh, if is there still like. Should black people be killing each other for any reason? Like, no. is there any is there any reason why another black person kill another black person because it still happens? Like, what, no. What are the reasons people get killed and then like, like why shouldn't it happen? You know what I'm saying? Like, is there like say if somebody say if you say if you uh for example right say if you went to jail right you had all like you had hella kicks right when you went to and you went to jail for like three years and uh. Like you had somebody had access to your crib, and when you got back from jail, like all your kicks was like gone. Like so, he like, oh my bad, like my fault. Like uh, like I left the door open one day or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Should that dude get lined to get killed, or is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, is there still a reason why people get? Is it acceptable? You know what I'm saying? Is that an acceptable merc right there? An acceptable merc. Case nah. by case, I say again. Case, case by case. Yeah. So some people, because again, self, self defense is for real, for real. Like, yeah. self defense is for real. Um, emotions, something people need to control though. Yeah. Because it's the it, toughest thing in the world to do. That's control that's your emotions. It. Right. Right. Nah, controlling your like, emotions is very tough. Yes or no, though. Yes or no. Like, is there is there a reason? Somebody should get killed. Yes or no? Nah. I say no. Nah. Like, really think about it. You say no. I say no, nah. Nah. Shit's real. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What you no. think? No. I think it's a reason for everything. There's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 for every, re- for every action, there's a reaction. Like, I want to say. Like, yeah, and then like, and I tell like, oh, for ex- oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, I'll say like, I'll say nobody deserves the right to die, but you can't judge somebody off a of reaction. Like, for instance, Bell, like, mm-hmm. if I like, if I like spit on your T-shirt, hypothetically, right, gotcha. and you pull a gun out that book bag and <laughs> shoot me. I, honestly, like, who's who's wrong? Like, <laughs> like, of course you'll be wrong for killing me, right? Because mm-hmm. it would be an overreaction. Right. But you can't really judge people off their actions. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because every action causes a reaction. It's pretty wild, though. 
it, it's, <laughs> it's brass. It's super brass. Like, I don't think yeah. situations like this ever happen. Yeah. Like, I'm talking extremely. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm talking in extremities. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. but I'm just saying, like, it, like, I don't know. Like, as far as death, there has to come some point in somebody's life where I've never crossed that point. Like, I've never wanted to kill anybody in my life. Like, yeah. I've never let anybody get to me where the fact that I wanted to take them from the earth. Like, I, like, I'm so much, I don't give a fuck, like, that I don't even stress myself that much because you'll kill yourself before you even kill them. Like, you'll stress so much about them that it'll kill yourself internally. Like, mm-hmm. so, I've been learning that as I got older, so, like, that's just a practice that I've been looking at. Word up, man. Like, that's interesting, man. Yeah, I was going to say, like, just to stay on that topic real, real quick before we, like, switch it up. Like, what if, like, all right, Say if like you you gang banging like somebody you you know killed your homie or some shit. Like like there's a reason why shit be happening. Like you have a point. Like every action has a reaction. So like right. shit just weird, man. Like I feel like some people just feel like it's justified to just murk somebody. It's crazy. Nah. What if, what if what if what if what if the dude's a snitch? Let's talk about snitching and <laughs> what if the dude's a snitch? Does that dude deserve to get murked? And like. Yes or no? Yeah. Emotions. Yeah. Emotions? Yeah, you got nah. it. Nah. I don't feel like... I mean, it's, it's every situation as far as, like... I forgot what interview I was watching. It's like, yo, snitching is a part of the game. Like, not like you need to snitch to be a part of the game, but expect to be snitched on. Like, if you, like, living up to, like, what you want to be. Like, as far as, like, if you getting money... And you doing all sorts of things like you know you live in that lifestyle like it's only it goes in every story like we watch these movies like the paid and fools and the goodfellas and all of yeah. these uh, mafioso movies like every they get snitched on snitch. all, yeah. the all the time so like to think that you might not get to think that you're the person that's not gonna get snitched on is just blasphemous like you just you out of touch with life if you think that you're not gonna get snitched on like <laughs> you gotta expect to get snitched on you gotta right. expect to get into some type of shit like you gotta expect to you know what I mean go through some type of drama like because that's what comes with the game like if you are librarian you're not expecting to get robbed you know what I'm saying but like if you live in this life where it comes with these type of rules then it is what it is and I hate to say it like that but you subscribe to the channel that you're watching mm-hmm. simple what you think about that though I don't know, man. I think he said it all. <laughs> I think he said it all. Nah, man. For real, for real, man. Like, yo, how y'all feel about, like, like cancel culture, man, in 2020, man? Like, you got to fight you know through what it. Saying? Like, how you feel? You got to fight cancel through culture? it because you can't. Cancel culture is basically, like, it's a, it's a system designed against you to fail, right? And it's the same system that you got to overcome to make it in the business. Like, you think about situations like me and how Drake, you know what I'm saying, how they say Drake won the battle and they was trying to get him out of there. Like, Meek was a joke. Like, they had the memes up. They was laughing at this dude. Like, and he just, you know what I mean, he just had to overcome, sort of say. Like, so, like, I feel like some people shouldn't be allowed, like, to be like to have the platform they have like a Rosie O'Donnell and shit like that but like as far as like I'll say it's on Bell's situation like case by case like as far as the cancel culture shit case by case has man. anybody even gotten canceled though R. Kelly got canceled for show for show I don't think so right that's what I'm saying I don't, I don't think R. Kelly know, got canceled man. we just listened to I right, Believe I, I Can I, Fly I, today come on yeah, boy man. canceled for show for show bro. nah shit was on blast I think like if he was free right now like not only is he locked up, they did a whole documentary on this man. Like that man, but they made he made the whole documentary. and He was still doing a concert. I understand that, but like, mm-hmm. I feel like by the time he come out, man, I don't know. Yeah, you're right, man. That shit crazy. I when he coming got out, fans. that's crazy. He got time to come out. I have no idea, man. To be honest, bro. But all right. who else did they cancel this year, man? They canceled Tory. Lan- they canceled Tory Lanez. <laughs> Nah, that's a nigga who needs to get canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. can How y'all feel about the Tory Lane situation, man? If all, if all, if all the facts that we know like are true, like I see Megan come out and say 
point blank period that this motherfucker shot her. Mm-hmm. He's wilding, bro. Yeah. He's wilding, bro. Like, you're super wilding. Like, you cannot shoot a female under any circumstance, bro. Like, the fact that men are physically stronger than females, like, should be enough. Like, to yeah. use, like, aggressive and, like, force like that is ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like, but, um... Like uh, I was listening to this dude named uh, Tariq Nasheed. He be like, "Are you are, I've heard uh, of him. Are you, are you uh, like Caribbean or African American, mm. or both?" American, you kind of say native. Native American. Mm. What would you? I don't know. He was like basically like Tory Lanez is like more of a foreigner black dude, and like a lot of that like a lot of that foreigner black stuff kind of gets blamed on like. African Americans, but I feel like an African American dude would never shoot no black woman like that. I feel mm. like, but it does. It's somewhere it happens though. Yeah, I mean, look at um, yeah, case by case. case <laughs> look by at case. Harlem Knights, Eddie happen. Murphy, yeah, yeah, Della yeah, Reese. Yeah. Mm. That's just crazy, man. That's crazy that he did that, <laughs> man. Because Corey Lane is from Toronto. You're not really like an American, not you ain't like want to live the lifestyle, man. Yo. Blame that shit on like Toronto dudes or something, man. Like that shit. That shit. You got think black people? Would I take, feel like black th- men you, got dragged for that though. And it's like, yeah. come on, man. Like he on some wild shit, some nut shit. I don't know. It's weird, bro. It's weird. I feel like black dudes for the most part, we be chilling, bro. Like you right. know what I'm saying? Like black dudes be chilling, but for the most part, bro. We really nah, do. That's a lot of wild niggas out here, though. It's a lot of wild niggas. Yeah. We control a lot of things, and people see that we really be chilling and still control the masses, and it's, 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 it's a threat to certain people. It is what it is, man. What type of music y'all niggas listen to right now, Bell? What you what you be listening to, man? Griselda. I'm fucking with um, Freddie Gibbs. I'm fucking with Stove God. Who the hell, who's that? <laughs> Fuck with him. Stove God? <laughs> Stove God. Yo, champ, who you fucking with right now? Like, top three. Um, I can't even give you a top three, yo. I, I love music too much, like, to even, like, just, like, bottle myself up with artists. Like, I listen to so many different people on a daily basis. Like, it really go through, like, I'm really, like, mood swings with artists. Like, I could listen to, like, a soul tape, like, the whole trilogy. Mm-hmm. And then listen to Lil Baby, like, right after that. Or, like, I could switch to, like, Bell said with the Griselda, like, just some real gritty, grimy shit, like, and then, you know, just switch the whole thing and just listen to some Weekend. Like, mm-hmm. my music really go off my emotions. Like, the way I feel but. influences my music or vice versa. My music influences the way I feel. Like, so, I mean, I wish I could say top three people that I listen to, but it's impossible. Like, I listen to so many people. So, who are your top three artists? My top three artists, Jada Kiss. Sheesh. Right now or just like in general? Period. Right now? Period. Right Period. Yeah, That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. I mean, I'll say whole because I grew up with him. Like, it's just so easy to say whole. And then... um. So whole Jada Kiss or Jada Kiss out? Repeat the question. <laughs> is it whole and Jada Kiss or is Jada Kiss out now? I feel like Hove is like I don't know, maybe everyday music. Like and Kiss is when I get sorta of like in that vibe. Like I'm more so like like I Vice versa, what I just said. Switch that around. Like, I'm more so on Jada Kiss type of time. Like mm. his his aura, like his, the, his rhyme scheme, like the the shit that he's spitting. That's basically what I want to listen to. Like, twenty four seven. Like whole that type of thing. Like brings me out. Like it makes me more introspective. Like it makes me start thinking about music. So all right, that go to my third artist then, Kendrick. Right. Jada Kiss. Jay Z and Kendrick Lamar, and Kendrick, I feel like is just phenomenal. Like with his whole dope. presentation, like his attention to detail, like mm-hmm. the way he gives so fucking much about his projects that it shows 
like even after we listen to the project like mm-hmm. that's how I feel for real for real man I feel like the artist I listen to the most is probably Pop Smoke Rest in Peace Pop Smoke I don't Rest know in peace, Pop. I really like it, listen to his music like in the gym and in the car I don't know why yeah. Just be, it's that drill be, music, man. Do bump in it. That it's that drill. Be, it's that New York that should drill. Just be bumping. That mm. should be really bumping on on like the jaw and everything. <laughs> like bumping. New York took over the ATO uh, style, man. And I've had a real problem with that. And I made that really, really vocal to my New York friends, like, because uh, we had an argument about Don Q, and I feel like Don Q is one of the hardest niggas I've ever heard. Period. You know what I'm saying, and I feel like New York didn't embrace him enough. Like New yeah. York, New York didn't like. I feel like he he should definitely be like still on the radio. Right, he like he should like that. he embodies the New York sound. Like that Griselda shit that you're talking about. Like that's that's him. I could feel like he could fit in with Griselda, the locks. Like he could spit with any gritty New York nigga. Like, and I feel like New York is just on a different type of time as far as like that that Chicago drill shit. Like that pop smoke, that Fivio, like. You know what I'm saying? Nothing against them. It's just that they just on a different type of time. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't really checking for, like, the hardcore, gritty-ass bars. Like, they more so trying to party. You know what I mean? Kill their ops to shake their shoulders. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kill the ops. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, yeah I feel like definitely... And I feel like I listen to a lot of Detroit rap right now, too. I just mm-hmm. like how they sound, too. Fuck with Bodie. Uh, Bodie who... Bodie. Uh, James. James Bodie? Who's that? Nah. That's his name? Fuck with him. <laughs> yeah. Man, got the bar in Detroit, man. James Bodie? I never heard I of like, him. I like, um... Bodie James. I like Royce. Royce? Royce the 5'9"? Yeah, Royce got the bar. He got... He he probably like got the hottest... Detroit. Nah, he, he probably got the hottest pin in Detroit. That's what I'm saying. Royce rapping the 5'9"? Yes, who you yeah. listening to? He probably I'm got the like hottest pin. Younger dudes, like, like who? Like, like Drago, Bino, uh... Dame Dog, fucking uh, damn John Boy, niggas like oh, that, Bang Gang, Lonnie Band, shit like that. Nah. You gotta put me on. I don't know none of those. Yeah, dudes. all that shit is just like the young. What dudes. they got? Y'all put me on. Like that drill 42 shit. Forty Two Doug. It's like Forty Two Doug. You guys never heard Dog Food by Forty Two Doug? Nah. Sound like a slimmer though. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that like just sound like a slimmer. That's crazy, man. Yeah, I knew y'all heard of Forty Two Doug and Lil Baby. That's yeah, I've heard that song. That uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We paid. Yeah, that's like the hot song in the South, man. You go down Fargo to Broke ATL, like Jock. That's all that's here. <laughs> yeah, Fargo fuck Broke with, like Jock. Fuck with that dog like this. But, um, yeah, man, I fuck with that shit heavy, 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 mm-hmm. heavy, 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 man. For real, for real, man. man. Detroit. Man, y- uh, y'all, before we get out of here, man, y'all gonna take a vaccine when they, when they, uh... Sounds pretty crazy. I don't know about that. Yeah, what if they say it's mandatory to... Nah, you gotta catch me. That's what I'm saying. You go. I mean, you go have to test me. that personally. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, big no on vaccines here on the world. Nah, Sounds we're not doing the vaccines. We're not doing the uh, the flu shots. We're not doing any of the uh, the standardized testing because we're not standard, and we don't. We're not like those people that they giving these tests to. Like, clearly, we do different type of people. Like, some people can't stand the sun, and some people flourish in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we two different types of people, so you can't generalize a medicine for all of us because we not all the same. Point blank, period. And I guess that's a time for another podcast, but we kings out here, and they something else. Yeah, I got a question, man. I got That leads me to another question. I'm not sure. It's kind of a, it's a tangent, but, like, uh, all right, so, like, I, I was reading an article. Like, you know that dude that owns, like, Virgin Mobile, that Richard Branson? He's, like, yeah, a billionaire. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Got his own, he, he built his own island and shit. Mm-mm. He's like a British billionaire, right? He's building like this thing. It's like Space Odyssey. But I've been billionaire doing, shit. Been, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing nothing, though. Yeah, huh? I've been doing nothing. What you mean? He ain't go yet? The, what? He been supposedly going to have people fly to the moon and shit. No one went to space yet. What you mean? This is the same dude from Virgin Mobile, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was supposed to have like before um Elon oh, yeah, Musk. Like, Elon Musk came like, through and did the same his, thing. Wanted to do the right. same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was before Elon and he He ain't no do one, it yet. No. <laughs> no one went. You know what I'm saying? He had yeah. all these talks. All these big plans and shit. Nah, but he's looking at doing it. He said he was selling like a ride on that shit for like a quarter million to space or some shit. 
So I will have a question for you, Do y'all think that there are is like other life in the universe somewhere, not on Earth? Absolutely. Yeah. You'll be a fool to think we the only people out here. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you think Absolutely. that aliens visit Earth? Absolutely. In in different ways, I would say they do. Yeah. What you mean in different ways? Like you said, because it's different beings. Let's just say, and um, that this is how we visit Earth. Right. But other beings can do it differently. Right. So we're like in a physical form. Like you can't expect everybody to have the same genetic makeup as us. Like and as far as the same intelligence as us. Like because. Who knows, like, you know, like, who's keeping the teachings going on, like, and there's so many different types of theories of where we started from, like, and I know religion clashes with that as well, but what if some people got it all figured out? Like, what if there's no debate on another planet how they, like, started? <laughs> like, everybody knows, yo, this is what happened, Ooh. you know what I'm saying? Like, there would yeah. be so much less conflict, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, because think about all the divisions that we have in life. It's skin color, is race. Well, same thing. It's race and religion. The biggest divisions in the world. So yeah. think about eliminating one of those. And race is the same people on the same planet. Because there's probably no politics. But then again, I'm just speculating. Yo, that's crazy that y'all believe like aliens visit the U.S., bro. Or you never seen those crop circles, bro? Nah. Bro, I be seeing like if you guys ever y'all ever looked up like UFO videos that they can't really explain and shit like that. Yeah, but what is a UFO? An unidentified flying object, like yeah, something bro. that they can't explain. Like, it's a lot going on. For sure. Bell, I feel like Bell knows more than what he tells. <laughs> <laughs> He's keeping it close to the chest. Nah, right? uh, no, I definitely seen. That's the thing though. Like, I would say I've seen things, but then one. So one day I was out, me and Jay was out, um, like by him, you know how he lived in like in the hills and shit. Yeah. Um. Late night, dark as fuck, and we could see the stars. Mhm. We were talking about the stars and shit, and then we started to notice some of them shit started moving. It's like what the fuck. Yeah. And like it was in like a sporadic movement. It was like a guided movement. Mm. So, um, after that, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? But then again, let's say a couple, that happened probably like when Corona first started. Yeah. A couple weeks back, I thought I seen the same thing. I tried to show my sister mm -hmm. and she points out that it's the, the clouds. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of had me second guess it, but it was no clouds that day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it was like mad like, you, stars. like you've seen shit before. Yeah, as far as UFOs that can couldn't really explain. Right. Oh, yeah, man. Interesting stuff, man. Like, why you guys think like um, like history, like some history is written, but like it's mad shit and mad knowledge that like we'll never get. You know what I mean? Hmm. Like it's been buried. Yeah, I mean you that's that's I feel it's like mad yeah, history. Though. It's mad history that like we'll never know about the truth. It's crazy, no. like like think about it. Though, like if we're all gonna die, right? And obviously we've seen like we know people that have passed, right? Mm -hmm. Like what are we even doing like on this earth type shit? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like we just live here to die. Like it's crazy to me. You think that's dying though? Cause you did say you believe in aliens. I don't really believe in aliens like that. <laughs> That's y'all too. So, so <laughs> do, do you believe in the afterlife? Right. Do you believe? Do I believe in heaven? No, I didn't say that. I said in the afterlife. afterlife. Like when you like when you cease to exist, when Where there's no more sleep? oxygen in your body. Yeah. What do you think happens next? Bro, I wish I could tell you, bro. I really don't know, bro. Okay. Like, and there's that, nothing that, wrong with that. There, and there, and there's nothing wrong with that, bro. Like I feel like that's the weirdest phenomenon that, that we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, that's the only... like you never know because the person died, so it's like they can't come back and tell you like what happens next. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Mm. That's pretty wild, bro. Like, 
the fuck? Yeah, that's like the biggest thing for me is like that you'll never know like actually what happens and where people go. I just pray they're in heaven and just watching over me. You know what I'm saying? God in my steps for I do believe in the spiritual realm though. Mm-hmm. There's a physical realm, spiritual realm, and like like a thinking realm. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, definitely, definitely I believe in that. But I'm not sure where the fuck our spirit goes after the physical is over with. You know what I mean? And I just hope that we don't come back as like a dog or something. Like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that'd be crazy. Or like, maybe we just go to heaven and like everyone's there and like like it's like you ever seen that movie with Chris Rock where like Biggie's in? He's like, Yo, Biggie uh, yeah, and Tupac yeah, yeah, is throwing yeah. a huge party. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? So hope like maybe it's like that. Like that's like that's how humans will write it up to be like picture perfect. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So yeah. that would be lit though. That'd be fire. That'd be fire, bro. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fire. <laughs> like, niggas running into each other, like, yo, nigga, I ain't seen you in years. You know what I'm saying? New arrivals and shit to heaven. That's crazy. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. What y'all, what y'all take on that real quick, man? As far as what? Like, afterlife and shit like that? Yeah. Um, I'll say this. My mother was raised, like, in a Christian home. Like, they come from like down south in Arkansas or whatever. So was my father. My father converted to Islam, and my mother, of course, is Christian. So, Muslim father, Christian mother, went to a Catholic high school. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, got influences and mentors that are like Hasidic, like Israelite. So it's like I've been exposed to many different religions and. I'll say this, like, there's a higher power. Like, I don't believe that I just got hit by myself. Like, I don't mm-hmm. believe, like, poof, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's something there, but I haven't figured it out. Like, and honestly, like, it takes too much stress to try to figure it out. You just, hopefully, you just come to grips and peace with the way that you're living. I don't know. Yeah, what's your opinion on that? I like how you said um, you you didn't just poof, right? Yeah. Because you, you did, though. Like, you just shot out your pops. Right. Sack, just right. like that. I mean, it took time. <laughs> it, it was some soulful. It was some marinating. <laughs> like, but even the concept of that, like, that's like... Like, even a puppy that has never seen sex knows to hump a dude leg. Uh, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's something that we, like, that has to have been learned from somebody. Like, mm-hmm. how do we know to intercourse to, you know, like, procreate? Or did we just do it and this happened? And it's like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's what I consider, like, Illuminati. Not like these people who dress in white robes and go to the forest and fuck off. Like, just illuminated people. People who have the real information mm-hmm on like the existence of us like on how shit happened and who are the real kings of this country but that information becoming public would ruin so much financially economically and spiritually that it just can't ever be released my opinion as well yeah man you guys have anything else to say man we did a lot man that was like we we went, we went like an hour 10 minutes deep man on this podcast man Guys, got anything else to say, man? Real quick, shout outs, man. Shout outs, man. Shout outs, shout outs, shout outs. Um, shout out to you, man. That I'm saying, oh, doing your that. thing. I mean, shout out to the War Report. Shout out to the platform. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. like, yeah. homegrown out of Jersey, man. I hope to see great things for you. Yeah, for sure. Um, Appreciate it, man. As far as me, I hope y'all, this is not my first time seeing y'all or the last time, you know. Uh, I'm just trying to elevate in life and evolve. Like, hopefully, y'all see me in a different spectrum, different outlet, doing something different. That's all I've been trying to do. Word up, Bell. You got any shout outs, man? Yeah, like Champ said, man. Shout out to y'all, man. Definitely shout out to you too, Jared, man. Royal Report, you've been going strong for a while, man. Yeah, I appreciate like, that. Like, for man. real, man. I, I fucks with the growth, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell this shit's yeah. real. Like, this shit's really dope. So, yeah, shout out to y'all too, man. This is y'all to y'all to be kicking it off, man. I'm gonna try to go as hard as possible right now until mm-hmm. I dip, man. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, I'm supposed to go to DC, not going to DC no more. So, man, pop mm-hmm. back out. Mm-hmm. Definitely, man. Shout out to y'all. y'all give y'all show, uh, social medias 
uh, real quick, man, where people can follow you guys on Instagram and whatever the case may be. You can follow me at champ underscore LaFlair on Instagram. I'm New Jersey Drive on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's my shit. I love that. Uh, I'm more active on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Pictures. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for these pictures, I wouldn't see me at all. But I definitely mm-hmm. got uh, insight on shit on Twitter. So check me out on there. Word. Um, um, my Twitter and my IG is IIB3LL. Mm-hmm. And um, I also have a um, clothing line with my homeboy, Jay. Mm-hmm. The clothing line is NGS. Uh, the IG and Twitter is 973NGS. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, you can follow those. For sure, for sure, man. And of course, man, it's your host, man, Jared Adams. You follow me on Twitter at War Report Radio, straight through uh, on Instagram, War underscore Report underscore Radio. Uh, on IG, man, follow me, man. And this is another episode. This is what it is like, what? Episode 105. I don't even want to say it, bro. Uh, episode and, uh, 105. Episode 105 of the War Report Radio Series, mm-hmm. man. So, like, we've been going strong, man. We're just going to keep going, going crazy. And we are done. Peace. Wow. Say peace. Okay.